guys get an hour less sleep last night? I did. I like the time change because it stays lighter later at night, but it's kind of hard the first day. Well, it's good to see you this morning at church. Uh, it is a day that God has made for us. It's definitely a day that God has blessed because it's going to be really nice outside. So today, once we get home, it's cold, but it's going to get really nice. Today's going to be a great day. Guarantee it to get outside and play and just have some fun in God's creation. Well, this morning, I want to start off by asking you a question. Can any of you tell me what are some different things that we can measure? What do we measure? Uh, yeah. cups, inches. cups, inches, feet. What would we use cups to measure with? Liquid. So if we were cooking something, right? Malachi, if we were baking a cake, they might ask for you know, two cups of milk or something like that. Very, very good. So Malachi says when we bake, we need to measure things. What are other types of... You can measure a pole. You can measure a pole. Maybe if you're building something, you'd want to measure how tall something might be. And, and how would you do that? How would you measure that? Someone hold it and someone pull it. Maybe like a measuring tape or something like that. If you're building or if you're in construction... You're really measuring thing, all things almost every single day. What else do we need to measure? What types of things? What about like the weather? Do we ever measure things when it comes to the weather? Yeah. Maybe a little bit different than we typically think, but the temperature actually is a measurement. We say how warm it is, and today it's supposed to be like 60 degrees. It's going to be awesome. And so we measure how warm it is. I got one more. I see you've got... Baseball's on your tie. I love baseball. You can measure that. Yeah, you can measure. In, in baseball, they do all kinds of measurements. In fact, I was watching a game the other day, and a guy got up and he hit a home run, and they measured how far it went. It went like 421 feet. It's pretty complicated. When they measure home runs, they have to use computers. And they kind of have to figure out how fast it's going and how high it's going. That's how they measure. Isn't that interesting? The last question I want to talk to you has to do with our gospel message this morning. Because in the Bible, sometimes people wonder, can we measure how much God loves us? What do you think, Benny? Can we measure how much God loves us? Is that possible to do? Benny saying yes. How? How can we measure that? Does he love us 10 feet long? He loves Sam 8 feet. He loves Isaac 10 feet. He loves Betty 3 feet. Does it work that way? Can we measure that? Or maybe 2 cups of milk, that's how much God loves Malachi. Does that work? Yeah. Or God gets up and he loves you to the moon and back. Have you ever heard that? You want to love you to the moon and back. Sometimes people say that to show us how much they... Is that how much God loves us? The distance to the moon and back? No. That's really, really hard. To measure God's love. Well, we can measure how much God loves us. Because if you pay really close attention here in a little bit, when I read the gospel, there is a Bible verse. It's the most popular Bible verse of all. Out of the whole Bible, I'm going to read the one verse that is the most popular Bible verse of all of them. It's John 3, 16. And John 3, 16 talks about God's love. You'll see on the front, it's got the Bible verse. It says, for God so loved, that's what we're talking about, for God so loved the world that he gave us one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's how much God loves us. Can you put your arms out like this? Does God love us this much? He actually loves us more than this. In fact, God loves us so much that he sent Jesus into this world. And Jesus died for us because God loves us so much that he was willing to send his son to die for me and to die for you. That's just how much God loves us. He loves us so very, very, very much. All right? Let's say our prayer. And we can go back to our seats. Samuel, pray for us. All right. Everybody else, fold your hands and close your eyes. Same say, dear God. Dear God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For your love. Your love. It's more. More. Than we can measure. 
<coughs> with cups, cups, measuring tapes, measuring tapes, with anything, with anything here on earth. Here on earth. But you proved, you proved how much you do, how much you do love us, love us by sending Jesus. By sending Jesus. And for that, for that, we praise you. We praise you. In His name we pray. In His name we pray. Amen. <coughs> All right.